and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Mother Glinthorn bringing this deck back. This was maybe my most liked deck, at least on Mobilitics. Had four people hit the like button on that one before. This was a meme tier Monday deck a couple of weeks ago that looked really good, did really well in normal, and we're going to try it out over in ranked now. Uh, give it a, a harder test and see what happens. But as far as an Auroch Glinthorn deck goes, this is definitely the most success we had with Auroch Glinthorn. You know, having War Mother's Call, and you have War Mother's Call to go along with Leviathan and Swain. Now, Leviathan is both, like, you know, it is a play trigger to draw the Swain, but still, just putting a putting an 8-drop Leviathan into play off War Mother's Call is still great, even if you don't um, get to draw the Swain. Uh, but we're going to be trying to, to stun... Or we're going to be trying to damage all the opponent's uh, enemies, all the enemies with Avalanche and with Death Lotus. This is the new card. I'm playing Death Lotus instead of Shun Po. We're going to be trying that. Um, uh, let's see. So, you know, like, and, and with Anivia. And, you know, like, Anivia, like, we can attack with Anivia and maybe have, like, a Katarina. And Katarina, we can, uh, you know, play it, rally, get another attack. And then we can have, like, Glinthorn attack with. The, um, with stunning all the things because Anivia just damaged everything. Um, so that's that's kind of a combo. And the Shunpo allowed us to do that a little bit also, but I thought it was not, maybe a little bit better to have something a little cheaper um, in here. Uh, yeah, this is this is pretty meme tier looking for a deck, but it like I said, it did really well last time. You got Avros and Hearthguard pumping up all the allies in your deck. Um, yeah, it's just, it, it can do some stuff. Uh, you know, with the Avalanche and the Death Lotus dealing damage and the um, and the Anivia, all that dealing damage to the opponent's stuff, then you have your Ravenous Flocks to help finish them off. Um, and, you know, help your Swain out as well. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try over in Ranked. Let's see what happens. No, Kordak, I haven't tried the new labs. How's the, how's the new lab going? I hadn't tried that. <laughs> What's up, Hungarian crab? Hello, hello. I didn't try that. Um. Man, Vi's all about the 100%. All right, so we're playing to get against we're playing it against Ash Sajwani. Sorry, one of the dogs is barking. Not that one. That one's chill. The other dog's barking. All right, thanks, Sheltering Hand, with the donation deck for your favorite Teemo deck any time slot. All right. Play some Teemo tomorrow. Bork, bork, bork. So I want to be drawing, like we're drawing all of our units. We want to draw War Mother's Call, not the units. A chill in the air. Yeah, play some more things that Avalanche kills. Do that. Faster than my arrow? I think not. No, I think so. Let's see, if I play Sentry first, we'll save just a little bit more life. We'll go Sentry afterwards. And then next turn, you yeah, know, this will do, put the Ash down to one health. Sure. I, I love seeing that. Even though it means I take more damage right now. That, that means they're both at one health for Anivia next turn. Can see the border from here. So that's great with, with this Anivia. Huh. 
Another avalanche, too. I guess Avalanche was the safer call. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah that was before with Burst on Yielding Spirit. <laughs> yeah, that definitely made the deck a little bit better. Look out for Reavers! Gonna go avalanche, I guess. Without me, these niggas tombstones. Hmm. Next turn is turn eight. Or let's see, next turn. Oh, well, I mean, I have eight mana next turn, right? Yeah. So basically, do I want to play the Tavern Keeper or do I want to hold mana? Oh, that's the. Okay. Surrendered. Weird surrender. We'll take it. Kill Ash, they're like, nope, I'm going home. Can't handle it. <laughs> I know, didn't have time for the War Mother memes, but that's alright. We got we got four more games, we'll get it done. Yeah, I was yeah, they they should not be saving Archer with that Elixir of Iron. That was definitely a mistake with the Elixir of Iron, in my opinion. Um, it's just a 3-1. It's super easy to kill. That's not the card to save. Okay, I want Ramp and War Mothers. Right, neither. Okay, there's ramp. I do not want to see Callista. Or Elise. I guess I don't really want to see either. Nothing escapes my watch. Butcher. Safeguard our homes. Okay. So what am I doing? Avalanche and give him a four three? Don't love giving them a free 4 3. These old eyes still see far and clear. Kind of want them to use, like, Blighted Caretaker or something like that. Oh, Callista. You with your three health.
That deck's pretty good. Especially when they have that Omen Hawk on turn one. That's pretty good. Oh. That was a card I said I didn't want to see. Um, 11 out of 12 for Swain. Nothing escapes We're going to go Sentry. Then I can either play Swain or Hearthguard. Carved from the Savage Cold. It's obviously better to have Swain in play for like whenever we drop Leviathan. It's also ob obviously very good to play Hearthguard as well. Fear the power you do not see. We'll go with the Swain. Cause I probably have to play Harsh Winds this turn, at least that's my thinking. Then I need to play Harsh Winds this turn. Can I get away with Leviathan? Probably not. I probably have to play Leviathan on my turn. Because, like, let's say they have Fury of the North. Yeah, that's, that's kind of the problem with playing Leviathan is Fury of the North. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Um. Yeah, Sejuani's like a, a one of. Probably Sejuani's just great, just a great card. You know, this is this is just the they who endure deck, right? Like this is just the Callisto least they who endure deck. They're just playing Sejuani as a one of because it's a great card. Uh. Destination in sight. Bring these lands. I'll try this. I It's much better for me if this actually works. It's not super likely to work. Ride onward. Yay, no fury. Now Swain can still die to File Feast. Which now I gotta hope they don't have File Feast. But I think it's it's better if Swain dies than if Leviathan dies. So we can replace Swain. We can't really replace Leviathan. You want know, just to open attack and just have just have my Swain die. Empire, battle by battle. I've taught you well, my boy. I probably should just attack with the Leviathan because I'm not really planning on. A, yeah, I should just attack with the Leviathan. Yeah, no, I'm I'm using harsh winds on defense. I'm not using it on offense. Everyone's a garden.
Yeah, I should have just attacked the Leviathan. Um. Pair up Ravenous Flock and Guillotine to kill this 3 5. So we'll kill that Neverglade Collector, which obviously we absolutely need to do. Quite a good hand. Last couple times I've played against that deck, it's looked great. Like, they just kind of have everything. Those turn one Omen Hawks. I'll do it. What's up, After Wizard? Thank you so much for that tier one sub 40 months. That's amazing. You are amazing, After Wizard. Thank you so much. Because even if they just didn't have... You know, like, if, even if they just didn't have the... Um, you know, they just didn't have like that other blighted caretaker, so I wouldn't have to have to use that harsh winds. I mean, I guess I could have let my Swain die and not use the harsh winds, right? Like I could have had harsh winds in response. Maybe, maybe that's what I need to do is just let Swain die. I guess. Um, tough call. Tough call. Uh, these cards are good. Swain Ezreal. I'm gonna keep Hearthguard and Leviathan. I like both of those cards. Cool. That's that's like the best card for us to hit was that Catalyst of Aeons. Yes. Because now we have, you know, Catalyst on three, turn four, Hearthguard. Ramping towards War Mother's Call. You know, because if we don't really play units, it's gonna be hard for them to level up those things. I would take another Catalyst of Aeons. That's our best card. If you could back it up. Uh, tax for three. If they want to use more mana. Charge. Okay, yeah, you, you should be playing that deck with Omen Hawk, Tumble Dog. The deck's a lot better with Omen Hawk than without. Many tribes under one banner. Omen Hawk is amazing. Man, now I want to block that thing. Hmm. If I go Catalyst this turn, I can go Leviathan next turn, but that's going to cost me 7 life. So I'd go to 13, because we'd gain 3. That's fine. 
What is this Avaros and Sentry doing? Am I casting Avaros and Sentry? Are we casting Avaros and Sentry? I don't think so. I think I just saved the spell mana for Death's Hand and War Mother's Call. Prepare the cargo! There is no excess when victory is at stake. Even bigger, Leviathan. What am I gonna do? Thermogenic beam this? I don't think so. Merely pawns in a greater game. Ah, uh, got stunned afterwards? Fire! Uh, that's a huge problem. Sumpworks map, really? I really wish I would have played this Conley Tavern Keeper. Now. So 11 mana, this still gives me 5 for Swain. Maybe I go Tavern Keeper Sentry. A little nervous at being at five. I thought you'd never ask. Unfortunately, don't have another Leviathan in my deck if I try going War Mother's Call. What my War Mother's Call supposed to give me that helps me out? What, like a Nivea? Draw a guillotine. Master your demons. Charge. Such little lies. How about another round? Two draws. Look for Guillotine to kill their Swain. That won't 
deal. Guillotine. Nope. Witness strength. Dang. I was feeling pretty confident we were gonna be winning that, and then some forks map. Yeah, never mind. Yeah, that some parks map. Never mind. Definitely wish I would have just played my 3-3 three, three and blocked the Swain. And then I would have been able to kill the Swain with the, the two Death's Hands. That was the big mistake. You know, I just didn't... Yeah, didn't expect... Didn't expect some parks map. No, they haven't announced anything about the new region yet. Yeah, kind of cheesy. But... I really thought that we were going to be winning that. Like, I would love to play that matchup again. I kind of feel like that's like our only way to lose kind of thing. Like, I think that's a great matchup for us, to be honest. It's just, you know, they had that and we lost. But I think that's a great matchup for our deck. this. Leviathan is just too good. <laughs> just keep Leviathan. It's just too good of a card. No, I, d I don't think that they're led. I mean, they could be Ledros combo. I guess I don't know. Um, they they certainly could be. I guess I guess they probably are. Yeah, everybody says it's Targon, but there has been no announcement from Riot that it's Targon. That's just kind of the, the thing that everybody says. take the risk of just like passing and then they just also pass so it would have been nice if, if they had like the attack token on turn three so they would have been able to play petty officer first and then i would have avalanche that would have been nice but that's all right so that's eight damage for swain because it did do two to the barrel as well packed him good Play Glenhorn. Instead of playing Swain. Never lost a fair game. Hold it, partner. Okay, we'll have Death's Hand take down at Twisted Fate. Expecting like make it rain. Or something weird like that, withering wheel. Okay, they're just going full on grasp. Alright. <clears throat> I was hoping I was gonna be able to use Conley Tavern Keeper to heal the Glenhorn. I guess hoping they would do like one damage to it. And then use the Kindly Tavern Keeper to heal. Park Beast.
Oh, is it maximum of nine fast spells? Like, nine spells on the stack? I knew that there was a maximum of spells on the stack. I didn't know what the, the number was. Is it nine? All right, that was good. Force them to use, you know, like, incentivize them to use the Vengeance on that. I'd rather them kill the Swain than kill the Leviathan, because we just get a Swain back anyway. I'm gonna play Anivia, not Swain, because of Ruination, if, if their plan was Ruination. We're going under! I don't think they slowed down the Rex animation, but yeah, sometimes it is super slow. Yeah, you can only add two spells after Rex triggers. Okay, so it is nine. Oh, no, I completely agree with you, Anamount. I I am... I don't like how there's no information right now about a new set. Um, that is worrisome. I agree. I, I don't understand why there would be no, no information about a new set. It's very worrisome. This one's on the house. I just I just want to draw War Mother's Call right now. That's that's the card that we want to draw. It's at this point it's difficult playing more threats into a potential ruination. Doesn't make the most sense to. They know about the Swain in hand because of Leviathan. Deal me in. Who says I don't share? I go Death's Hand plus Ravenous Flock to kill Gangplank. Or... Harsh Winds it, block it, and then use Ra Ravenous Flock. Have Death's Hand kill the Powder Keg. Kindly Tavern Keeper from dying, because then Nivea will just kill the Twisted Fate anyway. I protect this place. Brace yourself. What 
damage. If something happens here to the Anivia... Hmm. We can use Culling Strike. Oh no, I can't. I don't have the man for one strike. I don't know what I'm saying. Come on, War Mother's Call. War Mother's Call. Or Leviathan. Or Anivia. Yeah, I agree, Tumble Dog. The Powder Keg is just a really great design in the game. I agree. Really, really well designed. I want to save spell mana, so I'm not going to be using um, Catalyst. These salvages have been great for them. Oh man, like those. Why can't you just draw Vile Feast and Parlay? I want you to draw those cards. Uh, need to save spell mana so that if we do draw War Mother's Call, we get to cast it. But yeah, you know, like they've gone through you know so many more cards than I have. Croak if you work, burn if you don't. I'll just kill these things up. What's up, Nutter? It is totally Thursday. Aloha. Thanks for the, the well wishes, and I will have a fantastic stream. Thank you. Hmm. Who are we healing? Healing Swain. Alright, come on, War Mother's Call. Drop War Mother's. Oh, I thought that was it. With that blue art. I thought that was War Mothers. Such little lives. Hmm. Thought that was it. You'll fight or you'll swim. Return to us. Explosives. Ouch. That's a big difference. They draw Rekindle or I draw Catalyst of Aeons. <laughs> That's a big difference. Warm Mother's Call, please. No. The ocean herself will fear us. There's no fighter safe. Uh. Nothing escapes my watch. I mean, that should just be game anyway, right? Like, they just attack. Like, this thing's going to do 12 to me with just attacking. Um, I'll show him pain. Yeah, and it's, it's overwhelmed. This is just game. I have to kill Powder Keg, but even with killing Powder Keg... Yeah, it's just game. They drew a lot better than me. Whenever we were we were both kind of in top deck mode, they drew like those salvages and drew a lot better. Brand Danny, welcome back. Hope, hope your summer's been going well. Thanks for stopping in. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's top deck mode, you know, if we would have drawn a War Mother's Call, like, any time in the past, like, seven or eight draws, we would have been good, but we didn't. Alright, Draven Jinx. 
I just like being a positive person. There. Uh, mother. Yeah, I like, I like being positive. Okay, we're going to... Definitely keep Death Lotus. That's a wonderful matchup for Death Lotus. And I, I like these other two cards as well. Because if they're going to be unloading their hand super fast, then we're going to really need this Death Lotus to keep them under control. I know, it's up to, gotta learn to top deck better. I'm usually pretty decent at top decking, just was not that game. These old eyes still see far and clear. That was not my best top deck game. Draven, I love you! Me too, kiddo. Me too. How are we doing this? Good. Get more one health things in. Get a jury rig. Flame chompers. All right. Because Coaling Strike's not going to kill the Draven. Even though I wish it would. Kill my sentry. But that's okay. Um, we get to Catalyst of Aeons this turn. We can have a Nivea this next turn. It's a lot of mana not spent. There's a lot of mana not spent. We just start throwing down hearth guards. Let's see that. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people. You should try blinking sometime. I wonder what's in their hand. Smile. It's called gunplay. Okay, Harsh wins that. Save 11 life. That seems worth it. They got rid of a Culling Strike. So I'm glad I didn't play the Anivia. Looks like they were, they were holding Culling Strike. So, glad there. We fight as one. Let's go to attacks. So we'll probably go Avalanche second. Second main Avalanche. Get some damage on the Jinx. Kill the Draven. Damage on the Jinx. Good for Ravenous Flonk. And that, yeah, that they definitely tried to, yeah, because if that if that would have happened, we would have had eleven less life. We would be at four, and then they would go with the the decimate for the four. So you know, like that's that was their plan for sure. Okay, well, Jinx is still scary though. Jinx can still do a lot. Um, so I'm probably going catalyst this turn. I could play a Nivea, but I'm probably going Catalyst over a Nivea. Okay, I guess that thing's a 5-4. I guess I don't really want to block with either of these. I guess we go... I guess we are going to Nivea. We'll just block with a Nivea. So I'm 
at six. Okay. The best thing for me to do is to... Okay, I'm going to do a play that, that may just kill me. This may just kill me. We we would win this game if I would attack. So I'm going to count this as a win, because we would win this game as a, if I just attack. But we haven't played War Mother's Call this entire time. And so I'm going to cast War Mother's Call. Even if we end up losing this, I'm going to count it as a win, because if we, if we attack, we win. That was the way we could lose. That was literally the way we would lose. <laughs> Let's get excited. Yeah, so like, I'm still gonna count this as a win because if I just attack, I have my Catalyst of Aeons to gain life and they have to get rid of their Jinx. Like, like the game's over. But we haven't cast War Mother's Call yet. So yes, even though this says loss, I'm this is exactly, like, it's game five and we hadn't even played War Mother's Call yet. We gotta play the War Mother's Call. The perfect punish, yep. <laughs> All right, so I know what I'm doing. What that wasn't just. I need to preface that first, so I didn't just play the War Mother's Call, and y'all are like, "What are you doing?" I know that if we would have just gone to attacks, the game was over with us having just having the two Catalyst of Aeons. Um, they have to block with Jinx. We're fine. Um. Yes, absolutely, Catalyst deserves to be a 3 of. It's the best card for us early game against so many decks. Um, yes, it absolutely deserves to be a 3 of. It's not the best thing to draw later, and that's, you know, we were drawing it kind of later there. Um, but yes, it definitely deserves to be a 3 of. It's, I, you usually mulligan looking for Catalyst of Aeons. Uh, again, Orak Glenhorn didn't really do very, very much. Kind of like last time whenever we played the deck, Orak Glenhorn doesn't, doesn't really do very much, but... The Noxus stuff with War Mother's Call seemed pretty good. Like, I really liked, like, Avalanche with Swain, Leviathan, um, Anivia. Like, that stuff does look really good. Um, definitely possible that the Aura Glenhorns could just be other large units. Um, you know, you could maybe, like, maybe, like, those should just be Captain Farron's or, you know, to help you, to help finish out games. Probably should be a third Leviathan to start with, because Leviathan is amazing. But then maybe just some other stuff. Like maybe, uh, I talked about this last time that I'm not even sold that like Orok Glenhorn's better than Minotaur Reckoner. Like Minotaur Reckoner could be good in this of just having this round round start, stun the weakest enemy. You know, like that that helps you know stun some stuff. Maybe use Avalanche. Um, you know that can kind of pair with Swain. Honestly, to you know Glenhorn's just kind of the name card of the deck. But we talked about this last time. And maybe since I, I moved it over to rank, I probably should have changed this. But Minotaur Reckoner is probably better than the Glenhorn. Um, yeah, yeah, Elephant is good. You could definitely go Elephant as well. Elephant is good. Um, it should probably be three Leviathan, though, and then two Reckoner. We didn't get to draw Katarina. Katarina's pretty cool. Didn't get to do much with Katarina. Maybe... Maybe that just turns into three Swain, three Leviathan, two Minotaur Reckoner. That's, that's just probably an upgrade of going that route for these top end cards. Um, yeah, that's probably the, that upgrade there. So, okay, there we go. That's But then, you know, we wouldn't be able to call it War Mother Glenhorn, though, right? Um, we have to call it, like, War Mother Swain, War Mother Leviathan, something like that. All right, those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there. Hope y'all had some fun with this one. This was definitely a fun one to play. Um, yeah, hit that like button, leave those comments, and all that kind of stuff. But anyway, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.